Now, I want to talk to you about um, uh, Twitter's latest purge of QAnon accounts because apparently it's harmful and uh, disinformation and uh, it's not safe for people. Um, but sharing underage porn pictures on Twitter, that's apparently fine. And it's funny how this happens a couple of days after Anons and researchers dug up a whole bunch of Chrissy Teigen's uh, pedophile tweets and send her into a meltdown. It's funny that she threatened to leave Twitter and, you know, all that sort of bullshit. Well, for starters, just a bit of a side note. How the hell is Chrissy Teigen a supermodel? She looks like a tranny, if you ask me. She looks more and more like Kim Jong-un every day and when, when I look at it when when I look at it a face on top of that I just see pure evil and pure ugliness. I mean a supermodel is supposed to be a woman that every average guy wants to have sex with and I wouldn't fuck Chrissy Teigen if you paid me but anyway regardless um we're, we've been I hate that some people say, oh, we've got to elect uh, uh, Donald Trump over Joe Biden because then we'll be in a fascist dictatorship. Well, I've got news for you. We've been in a fascist, fascist dictatorship for decades. Decades. Anyway, um, this is not a new thing. Uh, free speech hasn't existed for decades. They're just ramping this program up into uh, full, full Pravda and full Stasi and full Chinese Communist mode to uh, they're hoping beat us into submission. But another thing I want to say is One thing about conservatives, unlike the left, they have got jobs, they have got children, they have got families, but it seems with conservatives on the whole, I think in general, human society has to be at the edge of the abyss before we, we, we most of us start fighting back. Why do we wait that long and end up in situations like this? Uh, where I, I have to tell you um, it's not the new world orders coming it's the new world world orders here um, we're, we're in in phases of it right now where um, a group of people decide, uh, what you can see, what's fact, what's not, what you can, what sort of movies you can watch and what sort of propaganda has to be placed in them, uh, what you're allowed to say on social media and, and what you aren't, and if you say something that we don't agree with, we'll either ban, ban, you, or our, ban you or our paid mobs are going to come after you. We're, we're in a fascist society Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're not fighting to stop it from coming. We're fighting to overthrow it because we're already in it. Uh, I suspect my friend Polly will be banned at some stage. I suspect X-22 report will be banned. I suspect my friend Grace will be banned. I suspect my friend Nikki might be banned. I suspect Sean from STG report uh, might be banned off Twitter. All these people are going to be banned in some state. I doubt I will be banned because I don't have a big enough following. But if I did, um, 
uh, some of the things I say on what I post I probably would be banned but I'm not significant enough but people should have whether they like him or not people should have woken up earlier when people like uh, Milo Yiannopoulos and people, like, people after him like Alex Jones uh, got deplatformed and bland, banned off all platforms and David Horowitz who's um, pretty milk toast really he's just a reformed uh, commie fighting back against these people he got banned by payment processes and couldn't sell his books and everything like that People didn't wake up then, Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, better, better late than never. Hopefully enough people have woken up now and this is a fight for civilization that must be won. I, I wish you all the, the best of luck because we're doomed if we don't win. And before I go, where the hell is Trump with the executive order he signed on free speech and social media doing something about this? What, what else needs to be done to, to prove Twitter blatantly breaking the law and blatantly biased and blatantly abusing their rights? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do. Thank you very much. Good night.